Yeehaw! Welcome to the Old West, and welcome to Fixing Minecraft Badlands Edition. Hi folks, my name is Fixit, and we're here with a kind of special video for the channel where we're going to look at the things that they're adding with the Badlands biome update, and maybe some things that we would tweak if we were in charge ourselves. So, you know, one of the things is whenever you're talking uh, Badlands, you're really talking Old West, I think a lot of people think of it that way. And with Old West comes a lot of very uh, kind of stereotypical traditional things that I think we could add to the game and it would be amazing. And the first thing is we're looking at it right now. Now we already have zombies and we have drowned and we have husks for different biomes or different settings and stuff like that. Why not add another variant that appears only in the Badlands, which is the Miner. Like I don't say in this skin exactly now, I'm playing a Bedrock map right now because it's easier to visualize things. Um, and I'm going to put a link to that map in the description. It's a very, very, very good good map. There's a lot of cool stuff. So I'm just using this as a visual aid, but you can get the idea. So you take the same zombie type of thing that we've seen three other times, and then you put a miner skin, and you have them come at you with a, I don't know, miner stuff. Maybe maybe they come at you with a pick, and that would probably make more sense. They come at you, at you with a pick and try to hack you down. I think that'd be really, really cool. Next thing in a Mesa, uh, well, I, they're calling Badlands uh, biome is, we gotta talk world gen. I want more of these. You see them out there in the background? More um, Mesa plateaus, like kind of freestanding Mesa plateaus. That's the traditional thing that you think of when you think Old West and and that that kind of thing. And, and, and we get some of that and they do have the layers built in, but I don't think it's as effective as what I'm seeing now. Now, this is obviously a custom map, so it's not gonna be this good, but I think the idea could be really, really, really cool. So a lot more, uh, flat plateau mesa situation in world gen next let's talk mobs here's here's their plan they want to have a vulture they want to have a vulture and the vulture is going to take your stuff if you die they're, if you die they're going to go and take your stuff and i think that sucks i'll be really honest i think it sucks uh, losing stuff is already a severe setback in minecraft and something that happens from time to time i don't think that we need to I, like i'm all for making death more common but i'm not necessarily for making the grind of getting all your gear remaking all your gear back more common. I don't think that that's important to the game. That being said, a mob that I do want to see out of the game is the snake. Why not? What a great idea to add snakes to the game. You know, they can attack you, maybe give you poison. I don't know what else what else they would do. Maybe they'd, um, I don't know, maybe snake eggs could be used in a recipe or something. I don't know. I don't know, but we could do something cool. And that's, that's what I'm really looking for is just, just cool cool additions to the game. I'm not a big add mobs to the game does that much uh, to you, to the gameplay, because I'm, I'm a builder at heart, but I can recognize that having snakes and atmosphere would add a lot. Okay, let's talk world gen. Here's a couple things I'd like. I can't replicate it here on this texture pack, but uh, little trees in the mesa. Just, it shouldn't be all orange and brown. There should be some green. Little trees. And to do that, I don't want to use wood. I want to use, well, I want to use, I want to use walls. I want to use walls. Now we have it in the the little taste of, of Vastin uh, texture pack and they have it here. It's a little a little different, obviously. It's like, you can see it's kind of a, a, a wood plank. What I, I want bark walls. All the bark walls, give us walls and these trees can come generated with walls. So that way the, the, the root, or well, the trunk isn't so thick. It's not a full block thick, but like a wall like that, but with the bark texture, yes, please. As a builder, oh my goodness, yes. As a, as a terraformer, as a landscaper, oh man, oh, it'd be so good. That in, combined with, with having, um, you know, the fences, you can make some really nice tall, uh, or, well, well, small, but tall spindly trees. That would be really, really cool. Here's what I really want to talk about. Here's the big addition to the game that would be amazing, and I think you'll like it. So in a Mesa biome, there are occasional spots where there is oil and it can just be maybe maybe one block of like a little oil well and you can just grab it and and i think you know just like in the real world it shouldn't be renewable it should be um uh, like you shouldn't be able to make infinite supplies but the wells are maybe infinite so like say if this block is an oil well then this block will always be an oil well but if you take it in a bucket and you put it down, then it's just a one-time use sort of situation. You know, I think that could be really cool. So it'd make you keep coming to Mesa for one thing, which is really great. Secondly, you can use the oil and combine it with dye to make paint. And that, 
is really, really game changing for a builder. So here you can see they've simulated kind of green painted wood. If you're building an amazing, you're probably going to build out of wood a lot. Uh, most of us would think of that as sort of the, the block palette, right? Painted wood. And, and you know, the way Minecraft has been going with the way crafting has been is if you've noticed, there's been a lot of stuff where you place the block and hits water and then you then you break it or you place the block and then you strip it with an axe or whatever. This would be kind of like that. So you would place like a normal oak oak uh, wood wall and then you would hit it with your paintbrush and it becomes uh, cyan <clears throat> painted wood, for example. I think that would be just unbelievable. Painted wood, you can do crafting stairs and slabs out of the painted wood. It'd just be a hue. The texture remains exactly the same. It'd just be a color of each of the six different kinds of wood. So you'd have painted oak, painted spruce, you know, um, if you want to do that. Or you could just have one. Once you paint any of the woods, it becomes just painted wood. You know, that'd be fine too. But um, if they did all, all six of the different woods, man, that would open up some possibilities for those of us who like uh, texture packs and stuff because it give you a lot more wood blocks with stairs and slabs to play with which would be amazing think about this like you could have uh what what is, i don't even know what this is Pur a purple pillar but but instead that just be painted wood yeah it would be really really cool painted wood please please what a game changer that'd be it'd be all the stairs and slabs that we can handle oh man do it so let's just take this train uh, over to another part of town. Actually, I don't need to take it anywhere. I just want to show you how cool the train is. Now, I'm not suggesting that we add trains. It's just that this this map has trains, and it's it's just, I mean, come on. It's just so cool. Let's go. Let's take a look at it. Look at this thing. Where is it? There it is. Look at this. Oh, isn't that awesome? And yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, don't don't make trains. It's fine. Here's the last thing I, wanted, I actually do want to suggest, which is not necessarily exactly this, but I want to suggest a wagon. Now, the wagon wouldn't come with a horse. You'd have to attach a horse to the wagon with a lead to get it to work. But then once you do, you can get in the wagon and you can go. Um, I don't know how to make it go. Uh, can it go? I don't know how to make it go, but uh, and it, it, it can, you can have up to four passengers in these four seats. So it'd be a five passenger thing. The driver up here and four passengers. Wouldn't that be amazing? One horse, five passengers, maybe some room for some luggage up there. Like maybe you could add add uh, uh, chests up to the top of it. It would be unbelievable. The last thing has a bonus feature that I just found that I'm not necessarily thinking that we should add, but this canoes as as specific boats uh, that you can make with mesa or something i don't i don't know how we, isn't that, i just want to show it isn't that cool that's super cool but yeah add the wagon give us a wagon a stagecoach wagon some sort of situation it, it fit minecraft it fit in fine to give us a reason to use horses instead of just electroing everywhere which would be a really good thing that's pretty much all i got that's all i got but i think it's a lot that's all i got but it's a lot of stuff right so so yeah that's my ideas fixing minecraft uh badlands edition maybe we'll do one for the next two who knows Thank you to special, uh, especially to my Fixer Upper crew who really helps me put these together. If you want to join that crew, all you have to do is tell me in Discord, hey, I want to join that crew and I'll give you the rank and you can have access to our special chat. And I will see you all next episode from, I don't know where, here, the Patreon server, maybe Realm of Vast, and I don't know what's next. Bye, everyone. I love you all. Have a great time. Uh, vote Mountains, right? <laughs> until we, At least until we find out what's coming.